Hi guys, my name's Scott. I am a PPL holder here at Almat Flying Academy Commentary and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my journey to achieving the licence. So a little bit about me, I'm an electrical engineer, previously served in the military and it's the old cliche story of always wanted to fly, never eventually got around to doing it when I was younger and decided that it was now or never basically to, to go for it. Started here at Coventry, did a intensive ground school whereby I went literally pretty much zero to hero uh, in seven days, um, covered the basic knowledge required and then carried on studying at home uh, and got all the exams cracked before I actually started any flight training really. Looking back on that, it was a really, really good thing to do to get them out of the way. That was just as COVID hit, uh, but eventually started my PPL in October uh, last year, 2021 and went on to complete it in March 2022. And within that, we actually moved house. So I had a month off flying completely, didn't fly for four weeks. And then roughly there was three weeks in January where I didn't fly either due to weather. And then obviously at the end of December, um, there was two weeks off for the Christmas holiday period. Uh, so all in all, uh, the October to March timeframe was actually pretty quick. Um, all things considered. It's pesky helicopter buzzing around. I have to wait for that. So just going back to the fast track course, I knew for me that uh, if I could be flying uh, a minimum of say five hours a week, then I would get the PPL done in, in minimum time. And that's actually what I did. I went solo after roughly nine hours and completed my full PPL in 45 and a half hours. And yeah, basically I, I attribute that to the fast track. I was flying every single week I could, a good amount of hours in that week. And it just helps with the flow and, and lack of skill fade. And that is the number one thing with the PPL, just momentum. And there are actually some days where I could fly uh, two slots with, with my instructor. So we would go out in the morning and do uh, a solo Navex duel, for example. We'd have a break for lunch and then in the afternoon, I'd go and do it solo. So it's absolutely brilliant for continuity of training. As we stand today, I've got my PPL license and I achieved my class one medical last month. I've just enrolled to the dreaded ATPL exams with Bristol Ground School. I'll be working towards my commercial license, so hours building here at Coventry with Almat and at their base in Sywell, which they've just recently opened. And then going from there, completing the ATPLs and uh, carrying on with commercial training. Looking back on the PPL, for me, uh, I wouldn't actually change a thing. The fast track course was absolutely brilliant. The exams, albeit by chance, getting those done and out of the way early on was, uh, was a real help. So I, I didn't have to worry about the exams during my flight training. Uh, I, I genuinely wouldn't change much. The one thing I potentially would change is making sure I've got the radio exam and medical done as well. The radio exam is different from the written exams. It's a, it's a practical exam. And the medical, if you don't get that booked in early, then it can hold you back uh, with your training because uh, you can't fly solo. If you're out there and you're wondering whether to go for it or not, I would suggest that you come down to Coventry, have a chat with anyone here. Everyone is super friendly. And at the, all, at the end of the day, we just absolutely love aviation and flying. Anyone will talk to you, myself included, any of the students, anyone will talk to you and give you advice. Come down, go for a trial flight and take it from there. Make sure you check out Almat's social media and website. There's some really good information on there, but also there's nothing better than just coming down to Coventry or Sywell and going for a trial flight. I really hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, flying is absolutely brilliant. I don't regret it. I don't regret it one bit. It, there's no getting past the money side of things. Unfortunately, it is an expensive hobby, but there are scholarships out there and means for help if you uh, have a look around. But honestly, when I'm up there flying and you're looking out the window and you're just pinching yourself thinking, I can't believe I'm actually allowed to do this. Uh, it's just unbelievable. And I'm so privileged and pleased that I've got this license. So yeah, I really hope this has been helpful to you and 
hopefully maybe see you at one of the Almat sites in the future. If you do see me, just ask, you know, just if you've got a question, just ask me. I'll be happy to help. Speak to you soon.